Hello dear friends, a warm welcome to all of you on my channel. So what are we making today? Well, there is one particular sabji that is very popular these days, especially during the weddings. You will always find a counter of tawa sabzi. We are not going to make the sabzi today, but let's make the spice mix, tawa sabzi masala. It's really flavorful and it's multi-purpose masala. Apart from using it in tawa sabzi, you can also use to stuff the vegetables like bindi or karelas. Any stuffed vegetable can be done with this. All the spices are added to it and without any effort, you can just stuff the vegetables or make the tawa sabzi. You can even use it in some curries to flavor curries, veg and non-veg. So it's very versatile spice mix lot of spices go into it so today let's prepare this tawa sabzi masala or multi-purpose spice mix we'll require coriander seeds three tablespoons cumin seeds two tablespoons fennel seeds or sauf two tablespoons sesame seeds two tablespoons desiccated coconut 2 tablespoons poppy seeds or khaskhas 1 and a half tablespoons star anise 2 and black cardamoms 2 green cardamoms 12 black peppercorns 1 tablespoon cloves 12 caraway seeds or shahi jeera 1 tablespoon Mace or Javitri, two pieces. Cinnamon stick, two inch piece, broken. Ajwain powder, one teaspoon. Or you can use ajwain also, whole ajwain. Amchur or dry mango powder, one tablespoon. Garlic powder, one tablespoon. Salt, one teaspoon. Kashmiri chilli powder, one teaspoon. Turmeric powder 1 teaspoon Dry ginger powder 1 teaspoon Nutmeg powder 2 to 3 pinches Kasuri methi 1 tablespoon And dry red chilies 5 or 6 You can add more if you like The list is also available in the description box You can check it out Now let's proceed to roast the whole spices first put all of them one by one into the pan do this on medium flame first increase the flame when the pan is hot reduce the flame by the way have you subscribed to my channel if not please do so and then click on the bell icon so that you'll be notified whenever new video is posted here all the spices have gone into the pan. Now reduce the heat and stir them with the spatula. Keep stirring them continuously so that they get roasted evenly. Keep adjusting the flame also. Increase little bit again. Bring it to low. Do this until the spices get a nice aroma. And they change the color lightly. Don't let them become very dark. Now you can add red chilies towards the end. Keep stirring. In about 2 to 3 minutes, these are done. After that, you close the flame and continue stirring because the pan is still hot and they will get a lovely aroma this way also with the heat. They'll turn very nice and cr crispy so that they are easily ground. Now remove them in a plate. Set them aside. Let's continue with the remaining ingredients. Now first let's do the kasuri methi. This has to be done on low flame so that it doesn't become black. It has to become crisp and yet retain the color. 
keep checking in between if you are able to crush it then it's done maintain low flame now transfer this also into the same plate next we are going to do the poppy seeds sesame seeds and coconut again the same way adjusting the flame between medium and low continue stirring until they give out a nice aroma it's always better to take a heavy bottom pan for the roasting the spices which gives a better results you can see the color is changing lightly and you'll get a nice aroma of roasting spices transfer these also in the same plate along with other spices now we will allow this to cool very well before that give it a nice mix so that when we are grinding all the spices can be ground together we will let them aside for at least half an hour so that they are cool enough and i use coffee grinder to grind my spices gives her the best results transfer some portion of it into the grinder and grind in few batches grind it to a slightly coarser texture you can see here remove it in a plate now repeat the process until you grind all the spices look at the texture closely now all the grinding is done let's add the spice powders and salt salt also helps in preserving it and remember when you are making the sabzi or cooking any curry you remember that you have added salt already and add accordingly if you wish you can increase the chili quantity if you like spicy food now with the back of the spoon break all the lumps because the sesame and poppy seeds have little oil in them you will find some small lumps break them very well so the multi use spices ready sabzi ka masala put it in a dry sterilized container and you can store it it has a good shelf life also it can stay outside for a couple of months easily but i like to refrigerate my spices especially the ones that go we use rarely everyday spices remain outside like coriander cumin powders here we go the jar is ready you can store it and use it as required lovely isn't it aromatic masala you can use it in many ways tawa sabzi stuffed vegetables or even in some curries to flavor them so give it a try and share the feedback i'm sure you are going to love this thank you for watching friends here are some videos from the archives you can check them out as well and stay tuned for the next recipe bye until then